Hello and welcome to Early Childhood Ireland's Garda Vetting. Garda Vetting is a legal requirement under the National Vetting Bureaus Act and must be completed before an employee commences work in an early learning or school age setting. In order to obtain Garda Vetting through Early Childhood Ireland, the Early Childhood Ireland member needs to log into our website at earlychildhoodireland.ie with the Early Childhood Ireland membership number and password. If you've forgotten your password, just click on this link here to reset it. Once you're logged in, you then go to Services, Garda Vetting and apply for Garda Vetting. Here you will find the NVB1 vetting invitation form that each applicant has to fill out. There is a special under 18s form for applicants aged between 16 and 18 years of age and they will also need to give you a parent consent form also. Every applicant must supply you with two forms of identification, photo identification and proof of current address. A list of the acceptable identification is on the NVB1 vetting invitation form here. The Garda vetting applicant can complete most of the NVB1 form online, but they must print it off before signing, dating and ticking the consent box, as this is a legal requirement under of the Garda vetting process. You must have an original signature from the applicant. Once the applicant has completed the NVB1 form and given you a photo identification and proof of current address, you then go back to this page and click here to enter the applicant's information into the web form. The Garda vetting application form on the web page mirrors the NBB1 form. You can put in whether you have a new vetting application. Your membership number should come up automatically. Make sure you enter forward brackets when entering the date of birth. Please enter the applicant's first and last name. If there is no middle name, just leave this box blank. You then go over and enter their email address twice, the contact number, select the role they're being vetted for, and then enter in their address, only their current address. If the address is only two boxes, please put the county in the third box as three of the boxes are mandatory. If there is an air code, please put it in the final box. If they're from Northern Ireland, you will need to enter a postcode. And if they're from overseas, they will also need to put their international address in this these boxes as well. Once you have done this, you then confirm that the applicant has consented to the Garda vetting application process. You also confirm that you have verified their identity. You then put in the date of consent that was on the NVB1 form, not today's date, and then say I'm not a robot, followed by submit application. This should then bring up this screen here that thanks you for submitting a Garda vetting application to us. You will also receive an email confirming that a link has been sent to the applicant for completion. This is from the National Vetting Bureau. This may take a couple of hours, especially if you put this application at night. The applicant won't receive their link from the Bureau until 9am the next day. If you think you've made an error in the application, please don't resubmit another application, but email us at vetting2 at earlychildhoodireland.ie and we can amend it for you. The applicant will receive a link from the National Vetting Bureau and so please encourage them to complete this link as soon as possible. Make sure you keep all the documentation from the Garda vetting applicant in their personnel file, as it may be required for auditing purposes. If you have any further queries on Garda vetting, please contact us on 01405 7102. Thank you.